Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Well, today we return to The Flash and get a little frosty, thanks to these requests. Looks like a few of you are looking for a Killer Frost voice effect. Now before we get into it gang, just to let you know, the Film Learner merch store is now open for business. If you head to filmlearner.com, you can click on the merch button and you'll be sent straight to our store. Shameless plug complete. So guys, in order to complete this effect, you're gonna need to record two tracks. One with just your normal dialogue, like so. I am not your friend, Flash. And another whispering the same dialogue menacingly, like so. I am not your friend, Flash. Go ahead, buddy. My God. Once you've got these two things, we're gonna head into audition and get started. Okay guys, so here we are in audition. As you can see, I have both my dialogue and my whisper tracks imported and ready to go. Now before we get into it, I just want to point out that Killer Frost's voice has changed dramatically from season 2 to 3. It had pretty much no voice effects when we saw her in Earth 2, so what we're doing today is based on after Caitlyn becomes Killer Frost in season 3, near the tail end. So the first thing we're going to do is head up here, hit this button and start a new multi-track session and let's name it, I don't know, Frost A. Next step, let's grab our dialogue track, drop it in on top and then add our whisper track on the bottom and let's have a listen to what that sounds like. I am not, not your friend, friend Flash. As you can hear, they're both way out of sync with each other. And the idea here is that we want the whisper to kind of come in and out of sync with the original voice. That way it'll sound a bit more supernatural. Now what I mean by that is, we want some of the whispered words to come in before the dialogue and some of them to come in after. For example, at the beginning, I'd like our whisper to start before our dialogue. And I'd like our final word of our whisper to start after the last word of dialogue. This will give it much more of that supernatural tone we're going for. Now this is something you could achieve simply by recording your whisper track live while listening to your dialogue ADR style, but today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to edit your track and achieve the same effect. So our first step is to head down to our whisper track and move it back so that it begins before our actor first speaks, right about here. Now let's have a listen to that. I am not your friend Flash. Now you can already hear that sounds much better, but I think our flash, the last word of our dialogue, the whisper ends a little too late. So what we'll do is we'll head up to our top menu here and we're gonna grab the razor selected track tool, this one here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut right here where I say flash, and there we go. From there, I'm simply gonna move it back slightly. Now granted, this is only a slight adjustment, but hey, that's editing for you. It's all just a bunch of slight adjustments until you achieve something you like. Now for the sake of the tutorial, I've only made one edit here, but feel free to break up all of the words in that dialogue and have a play if you like. You can see that it's quite easy to make adjustments. We'll then finish off that whisper track by busting it down, say, two decibels. Just so it's a little less harsh. So, what now? Well, crazy as it sounds, that's the hard part done. As I said, Killer Frost had some changes in her voice over the seasons, but for season 3, her base voice effect was just what we have here, dialogue with an added whisper track. But I'm not completely satisfied with this, it doesn't quite sound supernatural enough, so what we're going to do is we're going to add one more whisper track below our other whisper track. We'll then move this track ahead of our original whisper track, so it starts before it, like so. You may need to trim this one to get it into place. From there, our next step is to add some freaky reverb. So let's head to the effects rack, find reverb, and select convolution reverb. From the drop down menu, we're gonna select standing room only, and then down here on the impulse, we're gonna grab reverse tunnel. Now, let's have a listen to that. I am not your friend, Flash. Nice. We now have that creepy whisper going on that sort of starts and builds up before we get into the dialogue. So, as we always do in the multi-track session, whip up here, grab that time selection tool, select our tracks like so, right click, head down to export mix down and click time selection. We now have our final track mixed and ready to go. And that my friends, is another voice effect done. So, add up all those steps and your voice goes from this I am not your friend, Flash. 
utter this. I am not your friend, Flash. So gang, that's my take on a Killer Frost voice effect. Super easy to do and pretty effective. But once again, that is my time, gang. Now, if you haven't seen our Film Learn and 60K short film competition announcement, entries are open as of now, and you can click this card up here to check that out. We've got over $1,000 of prizes on offer, so head over there and grab your entry pack right now. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and hit that share button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode of Film Learning. Social media crap is above my head and I post all the time, so jump on either of those two. And until next time, keep learning.